When I am cringing after a KO, it means it's bad. Like I've been in this game for a long time, fight sports in general, and for me to be like, oh, something really bad happened. So I was just watching Bryce Mitchell versus Josh Emmett. Crazy overhand from Emmett. Drops his head to the side, gets it off the center line. As Mitchell's entering, he comes right into that overhand, sort of corkscrew style, turns it over. Big knockout, like one punch, done. And then about 10 seconds later, the doctors are in there supporting Bryce Mitchell's head and his legs are just full on shaking. And I was just going, oh, I wish people would stop taking fights on short notice. And I don't wanna take anything away from Josh Emmett and say that maybe he wouldn't have won the fight otherwise. But you can't be coming in 100% when you take a fight on short notice. Volkanovsky proved that recently, saying that, oh, I feel great. You know, I didn't have a full camp, wasn't really prepped up, but I still, I feel good. I think it's gonna go really well. And we just see that it doesn't. And the promotions will always say, do it for us. You're being a team player, a company man. This is your health, your livelihood, your ability to move up the rankings. You take the fight on short notice for maybe a little extra money, but what do you sacrifice in terms of health, health and in terms of moving up the promotion rankings? I hate when I see fighters like that. It happens very infrequently and it's just, ugh. So, ah, uh, man, I just, I hope we don't see any more kales like that tonight on UFC 296.